Welcome back to our channel guys and as you can see we stood outside reckless so that means one thing we're on our travels and adventures again so we arrived late last night on Bowness on Windermere we managed to park up here last night and stay overnight free of charge we have been up to the car park to use the toilets further up and we've just come back down uh, we are going to set off on a little adventure excuse me <laughs> i'm trying to have a dump here will you be quiet <laughs> so we are going to try and do some stealth camping uh, around the lake district we do know it's hard but we are going to try so hopefully you'll come and join us on our adventure around the lake district So we've just pulled up in a little parking bay to Castle Rig Circles uh, and we're going to take you for a little walk around here. So this is where we are. So if you want to read it guys, pause the video now. These stone circles have been here for over 5,000 years. Uh, there was potentially erected in 3000 BC. There's quite a few of these circles dotted around the UK. Nobody really knows why they're there. So, so idiots like us come and visit them, that's why. <laughs> no, but what? No, no. A lovely view over Thirlmere in the distance oh there's some vans down there look and they go all the way around in a big circle But yet nobody knows why they were put here, for what reason. Look at that for a view. So this is Castle Rig, oh, oh, Castle Rig Stone Circle with a view over Thelmere. So we're going to head back to Reckless now and we're going to carry on to his next destination and we'll pick you up when we get to his next destination. So no more coming, they're all clapping and lining streets. <laughs> they are, look. Well, the way they look. You! The clapping is. <laughs> Definitely for us, this. I joined Stu and he's coming again.
breathe. Well, that itchy bum moment, love. That was worse than Black Navarre. I've never known nothing like that. Or a steep. <laughs> Definitely. I'm going to see if I can get drawn up. Oh my God. Here we go. So guys, we've just come down the Honister Pass. I know, oh my God, what an experience that was. Hopefully we'll put some uh, drone footage in of it. We've come to this lovely little pulling. The views are magnificent. And as you can see, it's a well, well known little spot. I think once you've come down there, you certainly got to pull in here to catch your breath back because these views are spectacular. So we're going to head on back down the Honister Pass and see what other beauties we can see and what we can catch up with. So guys, we've just pulled up to Moss Foss Waterfalls and guess what? It's just started to rain. So it might be a quick walk up here to these waterfalls to show you things we do for YouTube. Come out it rain and everything. What a view. And this is what we're going to take a walk up to. Oh. And here goes. Are you ready to do this? For me? Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let's get wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's only spitting. Don't say that. Do you know what else? I'm sure. I think I've come up the wrong way. This path doesn't look very good. Oh. Oh. 
I think waterfall sprung a leak. Here goes. This better be worth it when we get round this corner and up this hill. Which path do you want to take? Oh no, we've got to take that one. <sighs> You've got to go on top of me, you? Yeah. That bottom end just takes you down to the... Uh... Oops. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> this gets your calves. Oh God. If I fall, oh. I might have to put this camera down, guys, until we get a bit further up. Oh. Look at that. Aren't we mad? Hey, oh, where's Reckless gone? Oh, it's at the back of that hill. Right. I'm going to catch you when we get to the top because it's a bit rickety and I ain't risking my neck So, we've made it to the top Just That's the top of it That's the view from the top of it And what's around this corner honey? I win. Oh, wow. And now to make the way down. Oh my god, I'm dreading this. I'll catch you halfway down. Hey, Look. I can see, I can see pub from here. Which pub? That one over here. We'll ring it until it's all just two pints. Right, there's no way I'm venturing up there. So, I'll catch you halfway down, guys. Good morning guys and look at this beautiful sunny day so yesterday we left you from the moss <laughs> it's distracting me <laughs> so we left you at the moss force waterfalls where it was just starting to rain so we thought we'd hit a car park thinking we were going to go to a plunge pool the heavens opened, we ran out of internet, so we couldn't find out whether we were in the right place. So we ended up coming to this place. The rain just came down, clouds, fog, it was horrendous. So we didn't pick the camera up last night, we decided not to bother. Uh, we had the fruit drinks in Reckless. And I'll just show you where we parked. So, this is his view. And this is where Reckless is parked. 
there were two other vans here last night but they've just disappeared look at that what a fantastic view and we woke up to sheep smack outside van this morning and I thought oh brilliant what a great alarm call and then I made me brew and I thought oh come on out and have me coffee with sheep but as soon as you open the door guess what the run off so I'm gonna enjoy my brew that I've made in this beautiful sunshine before it decides because the weather does change very quickly up here before the weather changes we're going to finish his brew have something to eat hit the road again and who knows where we can go anyway we've got internet so we're going to have a look see if we can find some nice water stream river lake puddle if i have to but I want to get in some water today. So we'll catch you when we find out where we're going and when we get there. So I've not left the spot where we parked up. I'm gonna take Buddy for a, a walk up here and see what we can see. I know. I'm knackered, I've only come up a bit of a nil. Is here a lot. Buddy! Are we going for a walk? Oh my god. Neil's just had drawn up and uh, suddenly had to stop because a great big jet come flying through the valley unexpectedly. Unfortunately, I didn't have camera to hand, so I didn't get no shot. Least to say, he dropped drone very quickly and fetched it back. And on doing that, nearly crashed it into reckless. Oh, God, I'm unfit. What a trek! Oh. It is a trek and all. Oh. And that near water. Oh. Ooh, finally. Oh my goodness me. What a view. Panic nearly set in then. We've come up this path and we got to here. Thought it were a brick wall. No way around. Thought we were stuck all in this bramble, but guess what? It's a little path. Well, a little mountain climb up there. And we're back on that path. Oh. Hopefully, surely to God there's a way to wear than this. What a view. Get through, get through. 
Yeah. Oh, she did, right, that's okay then. That's okay. It doesn't come off my arms. That's it. Oh, no, we're on camera. Are you going to go viral on your video? Yeah. <laughs> What's your kids? Somebody coming down? <laughs> Nine minutes from the car park. Double corner, alright. So we're finally back down the mountain at the bottom. And when we left, there was one van, two cars. Nah. After seeing all them walk past us. I hope we're not blocked in. Oh. Well, you lot, if you're watching, that's just past us. I hope you had a great time in that water. Because I wish I'd got a wetsuit and an helmet. Had I joined you all. What do you want an helmet for? In case I bang my head. You have nothing to damage. I'm not going to say it because I say it on everyone. Welcome to Cockermal. You find us parked in the Memorial Coach and Car Park and we're going to take you for a walk around Cockermal. We've never been here before so come with us and let's see what's in Cockermal. What a lovely place so far. And I do have a fact about uh, Cockermouth. I do know that William Wadsworth, the famous poet, was born here. And somewhere around here is his house where he was born. So we'll go take a walk and see if we can see it. What a bit. Alright mate. Do you know any good places around here? No? Don't say much around here, does it? So we're just gonna head up Station Street. Past the Brown Cow pub. Coming to new places but it's also sometimes it's frustrating because you don't know where to go what to do so you tend to just walk up and down streets and hope you find something interesting and hopefully we will
So we've come down the street. I think we might be lost. Hiya. 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 Lovely little houses. Oh, and we've come to another bridge. Does it lead anywhere? We don't know. It's got to lead somewhere. Come. So, um, I gather we're at the top end of Cockermel and we've come away from the shop so we need to carry on and try and find us back into Cockermel town centre who's coming out onto the marketplace and guess what there's a blooming hill Wadsworth South that way which we'll see on his way back and this way is where the castle is so we'll head up here so we've come to the top of the hill and guess what the castle gates are closed it won't wear us in but there it is in the foreground and unfortunately Close to the public. It's close to the public. For what reason, we don't know. So unfortunately, we can't go around Castle guys because it's closed. So we'll head back down the hill, back into where the shops are. So I think we're going to have to cross the road because the footpath's closed. Everywhere seems to be closed for us today. Every time we come somewhere, it either rains or everything's closed. So that's the old police station built in 1894 so in the centre of Cockermouth there is a statue of the sixth the sixth Earl of Mayo and he was the MP for Cockermouth and is right in the centre down past these lovely flowers come forward, come on come on, come on, come on. I don't think you'll be able to see it but it was born February the 21st 1822 uh, and he well, like I say, the MP for Cockermel. So that's him up there. And we'll try and get across this road. We are getting run over. And I got it all right. I got him out. Geography and all that. I do believe that Fletcher Christian is also famous for Cockermouth. Now I've not looked Fletcher Christian up but I will do. Let's see if we can find this Wadsworth house. Oh, how cute is that? But you can't see it.
Wordsworth House Gallery and Garden. I do believe this is the house where William Wordsworth lived, the famous great poet. It's part of the National Trust property. Oh, you can see this, but I will point it out to you. So if you want to pause the video and read it. He died at Rydal Mount Grasmere, 23rd of April, 1850. And we'll have a walk up to this church. I have to admit, I'm not blown away with Cockermouth. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of it. And this is another statuette of William Wadsworth. Oh, of his head? Well, yeah. William Wadsworth, the great poet, 1770 to 1850. So Cockermouth just seems to be one main street, unless we've missed something. But it was just shops down one main street and you turn down the road thinking it's the summit there and it just takes you towards out of town. So let's see what this church is all about. So let's see if we can go in. Can we film more? Let's have a look. A church. I don't think I'm going to go in. They're locked. But not be that late, yeah? Toilets. This is locked. So not that you can see in it, but. Not much. So, unfortunately, guys, this place is shut and all. So, that's the castle shut, the church shut. I think it's time to leave Cockermouth for sure. So the bridge that we're coming over is called the Miller's Bridge and it was opened by Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, in 2010. But I have to say, unfortunately, Cockermouth, it's a no from me. Uh, nice little river running through it. Places that we've been to and wanted to go, shut. So unfortunately, it's Bye from Cockermouth from us and on to the next destination.